Okay, today we're going to talk through and demonstrate a daily and general check on a self-contained breathing apparatus set. To start with, what we're going to check is the set for any damage, wear and tear, etc. We're going to check the back plate. We're going to check the webbing, the attachment points, the condition of the webbing, the straps, the buckles, etc. We're going to check the air hoses, starting with the high pressure hose. Moving along that, checking any damage, cuts, abrasion, bulging, etc. Terminating in the pressure gauge, which we're going to check for clear glass, that the pressure gauge is at zero, and that the whistle port isn't blocked. We're going to check the low pressure air hose, again for cuts, damage, wear and tear. When we get to the coupling, we're going to connect, disconnect and connect this. Moving on to the demand valve, we're going to check the demand valve rotates freely on the coupling. We're going to check the O-ring. We're going to check inside the demand valve for any foreign bodies. And we're going to check the supplementary airflow button and the demand valve off switch works. Both can be determined with an audible click. Now we're going to check the face mask. We're going to start with the visor, checking it's clear and in good condition. We're going to check the head harness is in the fully extended position to aid fitting. Inside the mask, we'll check the face seal. We'll check behind the face seal for any foreign bodies. We'll check the orinasal mask is fitted and the two inhalation mushroom valves are in position and in good condition. Externally, we'll check the exhalation valve by opening up the exhalation port, checking that the blue exhalation valve is in the closed position. This can also be checked internally by pulling the chin cup forward and inspecting the exhalation valve from that side. Moving on to the cylinder. We're going to firstly check that the cylinder contains breathing air, which is denoted by the black and white hatchings on the top. We're going to give the cylinder a full visual inspection for damage, paying particular attention to the outlet, making sure it's clear of debris and that the threads are in good condition. We're going to check the overall condition of the cylinder for any kind of damage. Once that's complete, we're going to check the charging pressure on the cylinder. In this case, 200 bar. This needs checking to ensure that when the cylinder is charged up, we can confirm that the cylinder hasn't been overpressurized by checking the pressure gauge. We're also going to check that the cylinder has been tested within the last five years. We're going to check the expiry date on the cylinder, make sure it's in date. And we're going to check the capacity of the cylinder. In this case, nine liters. Times in this by the working pressure gives us a cylinder containing 1800 litres of air. We're now going to fit the cylinder to the set. Once the cylinder is fitted, we're going to move on to the high pressure leak test. To start this, we're firstly going to check that the demand valve is in the off position by depressing the red button until we hear a click. We're then going to open the cylinder valve fully to ensure maximum flow of air. We're going to check the pressure gauge to make sure that it is containing more than 80% of its normal working pressure. In this case, over 160 bar. And then we're going to close the cylinder. We're going to visually watch the gauge and check for leaks. If it is slightly leaking, there is a permissible leak of 10 bar in one minute. Any more than that, and it fails the test. Once you've determined that it isn't leaking, 
we move on to testing the whistle. The whistle operates between 50 and 60 bar. To check this, we simply clamp our hand over the outlet of the demand valve, press the supplementary airflow button, and slowly release our hand whilst watching the gauge, slowly releasing air until the whistle operates. Now we're going to fit the face mask. We do this by inserting the demand valve into the face mask. It's a simple push fit till you hear an audible click and then attempt to disconnect by pulling. We're now going to do a face fit check by inserting our head into the face mask, breathing in and attempt to hold the mask to our face for approximately eight seconds whilst listening for any leaks. Once this is complete, we're going to reset the demand valve by pressing the red button and fully open the cylinder. We're now going to don the face mask. We'll put our head into the head harness. Fasten up the bottom straps first, together by pulling them towards the back of the head, then the middle straps, and finally the top strap. We're now going to breathe in and test the breathing function by breathing in and out several times. We're going to check for positive pressure by inserting a finger inside the face mask and breaking the seal. We're going to check the supplementary airflow button operates. And we're going to hold our breath and listen for any leaks. After this, if there are no leaks, we're going to move our head around slightly to make sure that there's good freedom of movement. We're then going to reset the face demand valve, hold our breath and disconnect the face mask. I'm going to open up the straps to the full extension, close the cylinder, and drain down the system. Finally, I'm going to fill in the logbook. book.